Well, Everton's out, Everton's done, Everton's been sent off, and Everton's come back. Also, I had to go to um, Bradford to pick up this, a new slam bar, because uh, I won. Let's just say it was a little bit knackered. It would broke here, it had broke down there, it had broke over here, it had broke in there, over here. It was just absolutely knackered. So, went to Bradford and we went to this place. Yorkshire Van Breakers. They are the slam bar, 90 quid. Nothing wrong with it, perfect condition. So if you are looking for stuff, all the details are there, on there. Get in touch with them. Right, the big rebuild job now. We've got a lot of stuff to go on. I don't really think that this is gonna get all done in one video, if I'm honest with you. I just don't, because I wanna go through the whole process properly, because we've got quite a lot to fit. I bought new filters, new oil, there's new antifreeze going on it, there's all new belts going on it, there's a new EGR cooler going on it, there's a new alternator going on it. The head's been done, which I'll show you in a minute. There's all the gubbins for that as well. That's all gotta go on. Then, fingers crossed, it all starts no problem whatsoever. The good thing about it is we've got sunshine. It's right up there, it's right in my eye. But, let's have a little bit of a look in the engine and you can see what's going on. So, as you can see there, it's a bit of a mess. Um, we've got to clean that up. I'm going to be cleaning that up in a minute. Got some wet and dry, so I'm going to clean all that up so that's all nice and shiny. The new alternator is we really going to be getting fitted in there. Um, the new EGR cooler will be going on the side on the engine there. And it's just a case of putting it back together. But, like I said, it's going to be a slow process because you've got to make sure things are going right. Oh, there's also a new cam belt and water pump as well. So we're kind of replacing Everton that we can think of replacing while we've got it all off. While it's all there, it may as well be done. So this can now come off and it can go in the garage. I just wanted to make sure that it all fitted and it was all fine. So it's literally two bolts in the top. Right, this can come off. It's going to have the radiator attached and everything else attached to it before it goes back in. But we at least know that this fits and it's better than the other one. I'll show you the other one. So, as you can see, the other one, that's been repaired and not very well. Uh, the bottom bit has fell off there. I don't know where that is. That's there. That's fallen off. Also, it's had a repair there as well. And then, literally, all inside here, where it connects to the actual van, that's all knackered. So what have we got to change? Well, we've got oil filter, air filter, pollen filter, <clears throat> new head bolts, new alternator belt. That's got to go on. We've got seal kits. We've got head gasket kits. But the main sexy part, ooh, the head. Right, well, what have we had done to the head? Obviously, it's been skimmed. That's all been done. We have had the eight exhaust valves replaced. Everton inside has been cleaned. Everton inside has been taken out and reset. And it just looks absolutely lovely. It looks brand new, considering the state of it when we took it in. It was just, just crap. If you had Liverpool and you were, you do want stuff like this done, I'll leave all the links to the company we used in the description but they've done a great job and we got the full the seal kit all the seals that we need for the engine and to do the job we got the bolts from them we got everything from them and it come to a total of 266 pounds which i didn't think was too bad to be fair um i don't know what we expected but with the amount of work that we had done to the head it wasn't just a skim and a clean we had you know the exhaust valves redone everything reset everything was done to it what they could possibly do so made up with that Right, that's got to go in, but obviously Everton needs cleaning first, the part in the engine, this needs a clean as well, and then just basically get it in. A few little bits to go on here, a couple of sensors, things like that. So, um, yeah, kind of made up with this. Right, next thing is not to freak out because I've got contact lenses in. Yeah, anyway, the van. Thermostat. Now, there was a couple of comments in the previous video that someone said the reason it had happened is because they could see 
that the thermostat was broke when we took it off. That is absolute bull hockey. Do you know why? Because there is the thermostat that we have not taken off the van. It's still on. So how somebody seen that it was the thermostat that was broke, I don't know. X-ray vision, that's why I put contact lenses in to see if I can see. Anyway, going to get the thermostat off. It's two bolts, three pipes, just a couple of clips, done and dusted. So we'll get that changed so we know this is another part of the vehicle that has been changed. Like, you know, we're in here, it's right down there. It'd be a pig of a job to do otherwise so may as well change it now saves doing it in the future so right let's get this off and go from there so your thermostat's in there you've got one clip there you've got one bolt there you've got another pipe which is clipped on there and then you've got another pipe just down there and then the other bolt is right down the bottom there uh, <laughs> ah my, i might have to take the um alternated off to get to that see this is why i'm changing things now because there's all sorts of stuff in the way i didn't know the alternator would be in the way for this job by the way so hopefully i'm about to get it without taking the alternator off i can't be asked right got me bottom touching gloves on let's take it off why does everton fight you all the time just fight you takes the piss Right now and get into that bolt. The bolt is literally right down there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This thermostat has turned into an absolute knob of a job. Have a look at this. So, thermostat there, it's got a solid pipe that goes into there, but all this is solid, so you can't slide it out this way because there's no play in it. So I've undone uh, one bolt on there. There's another one behind there, but the oil filter is in the way you can't actually get in there because it's like it's right behind here all this paperwork needs to move that way so i can get this connection off just there how are you changing your thermostat if it never goes faulty without ripping everything off is beyond me <clears throat> simple jobs are now starting to really boil my piss Right, let's carry on before a cup of tea, before I break something. Right, that's changed. That was an absolute knob of a job. If I was with you, it took far too long and it was just stupid. So, yeah, that is a tit. Right, head gasket time. It's now um, head gasket time. Oh, look, there's a half naked Emma in shorts. You don't see that very often. She's just woke up been having a snooze right um sean's here we're back time to put the um the bullshit back together here we go we've put the gasket on the two liners have been in place now it's just a case of putting it back on and screwing it all together The head is in. It's been torqued up three times. There you go. Learn something new every day. Um, or is it four times? Four. Four times. There you go. Comment section yeah. before you before you start. Four times it was torqued up. Um, That's an that we've been given. Yeah. So he was now putting Our little lifters on. these little boys in. Yeah. Oil as well. They're going in there, they've all been cleaned. So it's now starting to look like a bit of an engine. <sighs> right, so obviously Everton has got new seals with it. So it's just a case of taking the old ones out, which are there. And then replacing all these seals because the seal kit we got to be fair we come with more seals than we need a bit of a fiddly job but right most things are back together that's all done in there so now next job is to get the cam belt on which sean is doing now consider we didn't do this that long ago it actually takes the piss that we're doing it again 
but there you go new water pump going in and then the cam belt itself that is all timed up so next job is get the covers on get the top back on get the inlet on get the turbo on connect all the pipes up and go from there it's still loads to do but the camel's back has been broken We got it all back together it was all put back together all filled with water again everything fine everything working we had the engine running and it was going fantastic it really was it sounded lovely but then we noticed there's an oil leak from the back yeah that was coming from the vacuum pump then we also noticed another oil leak from the front that was coming from the camshaft seal. So, yeah, oil dripping out everywhere. There's a very small moral to this story. Um, and the model of the story is, do not, don't buy seals from anybody else bar the people who make your van. I was warned about buying secondary seals. I was told not to do it. But in my mind, I thought, well, it's coming from a van engineering company. It's coming from a company that do head skimming and they rebuild engines and they do the work in the garage. So the kit that comes with it, it must be good. No, it wasn't. It was awful. And I mean, awful. There was kind of warning signs when we put the main manifold on. I changed the seal for the main manifold. The main manifold seal that come off was kind of like a solid plastic with a rubber skirt going round it. It felt good. The one that come with the kit was just a flimsy rubber gasket. And to be honest with you, it didn't fit very well. Some of the lines going from, you know, gap to gap were in the wrong place. It just didn't work. So really should have gone Ooh, this is crap i am fingers crossing hoping praying that the head gasket will be fine but speaking to a few people that looks like it's going to be okay but the other seals yeah um have spoken to sam from the crafty blinders he funnily enough seems to collect vacuum pump seals because he's just done his vacuum pump he bought one and then when he bought a new vacuum pump it came with a seal from vw so he had a spare one so that's getting sent to me now thank you very much sam you are a legend if you're not subscribed to the crafty blinders that channel there in the bottom here crafty blinders go and show him some love because he is a top bloke a top top bloke and he's only small and ginger so it makes him even better than everybody else just like me anyway right we digress i haven't used that comment for a while so what i've got to do now is strip all this back so we can get to the cam belt i've got no words because there's no words can describe what i'm feeling right now because it's just crap um we also did notice as well while we were running the engine that the flywheel was making a bit of a noise so as soon as we finish this, when we've got all this boxed off and put it all back together, then I'm going to have to do flywheel and clutch. Which, to be fair, compared to this job, should be a walk in the park. Right, 
going to strip this get it all done i'm also going to replace all these clips every single clip on there because i've just bought a new packet of clips because they just look crap a couple of them snapped um so yeah i'm going to replace all them all these all the ones down here all these ones just replace all the hose clips i've got two boxes of hose clips and i've even bought a set of hose clips pliers because they are worth the weight in gold they're about eight pounds they weren't actually dear either i think that box was 11 pounds but it means there's new clips on i'm gonna win this one here because i think my soul's just died a little bit anyway what can you do just get on with it can't you right i'm gonna strip this get it all off um oh by the way yeah the, 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 the one of the companies that i use for parts also sent me the wrong filter so i've had to go back and change that for the oil just doesn't stop does it um right i'm gonna um strip this apart change clips and go from there see you in the next video I'm done.